Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. This is your Insecure Episode 3 review. So, it starts off with Issa and Daniel in the bed, and she is fantasizing about Daniel, and, you know, um... We know, like, we're suspecting something's going to happen between Issa and Daniel, right? Because she's having fantasies about him. They're in the bed. They're sharing a bed, which is just a poor, poor idea. But they're sharing a bed because the couch, she can't, she doesn't, she doesn't like the couch or it hurts her back. Molly and Issa are at the dog groomers. Um, she says she feels, she's telling Molly she feels like she's connecting with Daniel and that it's a good thing if we're going to figure out what we're going to do. Um, I didn't know that her and Daniel were supposed to be figuring out something. I don't know if I'm missing that. I don't know. if Are they supposed to be working on something? Or is he just really letting her um, have, you know, share space with him because she needs it? I mean, I think he like he said he likes her being around. But I didn't know they were supposed to. The way that Issa was explaining it to Molly was that they're connecting and they can figure out, you know, what they're going to do. I don't know. I didn't know that they were supposed to be doing that. He got y'all. Is that some job fair or something like that? And uh, what's the girl's name? Frida, her friend Frida, who has says all these little small microaggressions. It's really like, oh my God, it annoys me. I know she's supposed to be the likable white character, but her little microaggressions, you know, when she said something about somebody slaying or something, I don't know, it was stupid. She says, uh, we're going to have a new hire, this guy named Jeffrey Canada. I guess he's a black, black guy. And she's saying, you know, well, it's good that we're going to hire a black guy. But I didn't, I think that hiring somebody based on their race is against the law. And she's like, well, we've had enough of white people, um enough time with them so we need some time with some black people if everybody here is oh your people are represented nobody here is represented i feel like i feel like i had a crazy i just had a really crazy i don't know weekend i don't know what my shirt is doing it does it's not like cooperating with this whatever i don't have a lot of time that's why i'm just like let me stop right here and make this video and i'll be done molly's at this black law firm she is making her little microaggressions about the law firm and the little things that they don't have in comparison to the white law firm that she uh, belonged to, where she wasn't being treated in the way that she wanted to be treated. So now you're at this black law firm and you're making jokes or just complaining about little things that they don't have in comparison to what your other job had. Um, and then just making little snide comments. She is happy, you know, like, you know, dancing in her office and stuff like that. She is happy, but I, and then that guy, is that, he reminds me of, I feel like he was on like living single or something like that. The, the boss, her boss with the glasses, the black guy with the glasses, he gives me Blair Underwood tease, but he's, it's not Blair Underwood. I don't know who that guy is. I can't, I can't think of, I should have looked him up, but anyway, she's saying, um, I don't know. She just feels comfortable, but then she's making her little her little smart ass comments about what they have and what they don't have. Daniel's playing beats. He's getting advice from the other producer dude that Issa encouraged him to go get advice from, and it turns out dude wants to change um, the beat based on what he thinks he knows that the other guy will like. Um, I forgot the guy's name that they're trying to make beats for, but he's like, no, just switch it up. And Daniel's not really feeling that. And I understand when you're an artist and you're presenting something, this is your artwork. And somebody's like, no, just switch it up and change it, change it, change it. And they making all these changes and it's no longer what you created or what you fell in love with once you created it. And it's like, what are you doing? Why are you touching my shit? But you could tell Daniel is not like, he's not really cool about it. Anyway, so they're back at the job fair. 
Um, there's this little crew that comes out and was dancing and Issa's so impressed, the beat crew. And she starts inquiring about them and she really likes their mission. And she was really inspired by their display or whatever their presentation was. And he's like, she can see there's a lot of diversity and, to, and inclusion in this group. And she's like, oh, okay. So it's very interesting. And it's a, it's a, it's an organization that focuses on children who are gifted with music, musically gifted, which to me seems like something Issa would like. She's very into music. You know, she's always very showing a lot of interest when it comes to Daniel's music. So that might be something that she likes. I hope that she goes because I don't like we got y'all. I don't like the I don't like the direction that they're they're showing for this. What's going on with them? I think Issa is not. She said she's been at that job for five years. She doesn't seem to be happy. She's never seemed to be happy, to be honest, in all three seasons. Issa has never seemed happy working at this job. It's always very um, uncomfortable and like a, some tension there. Not even awkward, but just feels like it's some tension. Like she's not fully invested or... Oh, it's a little spider. She's not not invested like she's not she's not being challenged and it's something that she's passionate about but she's like at a you know at a glass ceiling she can't go anywhere and then they're like kind of telling her what she can and cannot do not putting her out in the field for what she did you know last season but I think this other place seems to be something that might be right up her alley so hopefully she you know they show her later on at work looking up this company and then thinking that she might apply. Ollie's at work. She's wondering why they don't have a docu sign, and she's like, "Girl, we have a carrier there that comes here." And she's like, just making all of these little like, I don't know. I, they're microaggressions to me. I mean, I don't know if they're like, like she's saying thing like, "Oh, somebody's on CP time." Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like just because you're in the space, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Molly's doing. I think she is graying the line of like black professionalism amongst peers and thinking that that familiar way that you speak to each other, I think she's going too far. Like I think she's, there's needs to be a line of professionalism. All that hey girl talk, uh, hey sister girl talk, that's not, you know, I, even if you're amongst your people, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a very thin line. I think you're you're a professional. Your guys are lawyers. Don't hit me with that. Don't. I don't know. I'm like, I go back and forth because I'm like, I want Molly to be comfortable in her space. But that, that over familiar personality that people have when they know like, oh, it's just us. And you get over familiar. I don't like that. I believe that there still should be some level of formality. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just don't like it. Issa decides she goes and checks out the property manager position. He tells her she's going to have to pay just half of the rent. And she's like, what? And she, it seems to be a cool place. It was like a nice size apartment. But then they're like, you're going to have to be on call. You're going to have to be, you know, you're going to have to be available. You're running your property manager. Not to say that you're going to have to you know, do you know how to use a plunger? Um, no, but I know of a company that will come and do it. I, you know, maybe you need to be a different kind of property manager. I don't know if Issa is prepared to do that. She'd set her damn apartment on fire. I mean, an accident is an accident, but God damn. I don't know, Issa. I'm not sure. But he tells her the rent is only going to be $750. And $750 in Southern California or in Los Angeles or Inglewood or wherever she's supposed to be, that is a steal. Hello. She better jump on it. She's trying to think about whether she's going to stay with Daniel or not. No, I'm not staying with. No, you don't need to be there with Daniel. Y'all can figure out what you're going to do in separate your own spaces. You can have your own space. Issa and Daniel are at the laundromat where they're talking about. Um, she's telling him, well, I might move. I found a property manager. And he's like, immediately. I kind of annoyed which I don't like I was like Daniel I don't like the way Daniel fights I don't like the way he 
was trying to talk her out of it. I'm trying to figure out what Daniel's angle is because as soon as she tells him that um, she doesn't like, she doesn't like, you know, she's going to, um, when he, she's going to move out. He tries to tell, you know, I like you around. I want, I don't want you, you know, leaving or whatever. And she's just like, well, I'll think about it. Right. So she's going to think about it. Molly, Issa, Kelly, and Tiffany go out and Molly is complaining about her job. And she's like, well, don't you like it? I mean, she's like, yeah, I like it. I think that's what she said. I don't know. Whatever. Um, she's like, well, why do black businesses have to not be up to par? Like, okay, so whose standard are you measuring, right? So are you measuring understanding like this is a black business and we may not have all of the things because we don't have the right access to have all of these things that another company with, you know, that may be considered a white company has? So, like, my thing with black businesses, just because it's a black business doesn't mean it has to be substandard in terms of quality of service. Like, and I think it's very important for black businesses that we do tell each other, hey, this is where you drop the ball, probably straighten up, because, you know, everybody has their ideas of what good service is so sometimes you have to remind people like this is not good service and what is good service you know you have to you have to define that so when you have companies that you're saying oh this is a black business you need to say where they drop the ball it doesn't do anybody any good to just be talking about them without telling them where they need the feedback it doesn't it doesn't work so that's where it is. So she says she wants to stay longer at Daniel's. Kelly calls her a dumb bitch. And that's, I mean, that's what it is. You being a dumb bitch because if you have an opportunity to be a property manager, he's telling you it's $750 a month and as opposed to $1,500 a month for a one bedroom. Um, you better take it because this relationship with Daniel is just not, y'all need to figure it out in separate spaces. You don't need to figure it out living together. So we got y'all's interviewing this girl. I forgot what they're interviewing, this black girl. And she's like asking Issa, you know, does she like it there? Like, and giving her like the look like, girl, okay, this is where we like, okay, family, this is where you get familiar. And I'm asking you for real, for real, do you like this job? And Issa's just like, yeah, it's okay. She doesn't want to say anything bad about it. I don't know what it is with Issa and We Got Y'all, but she knows it's not the place for her, but she has this sense like she can't be honest about what it is, maybe because that's going to, it makes, it may say something about how long she's staying there or something. I don't know. Um, so she goes and she's looking up the beat crew. And so hopefully she, they they um she hooks up with them i i'm really done with what you got we got y'all i'm done with it molly is making jokes about people starting on time at her firm and you could see one of the women is just like oh no we're not doing this she really stuck up for oh oh is he on cp time like that's what i'm talking about it's just like you're going to use all of our familiar... Fr I don't know. It's just a real thin line with Molly and this job. I don't like this extra, ultra bougie-ass attitude she has. Because she's like... I don't know. I just don't like it. It's a, like I said, it's a, it's, it's a line. But one of the girls was just like, well, yeah, sometimes he's late because of whatever she said that he's doing. And Molly thinks it's funny and it's really it's really awkward whenever she makes these jokes. And I, I think it's meant to be awkward for us as viewers to be like, okay, Molly, easy. Okay, settle down with all the little 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 I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm explaining myself right, but I don't like it. I just don't like Molly's attitude towards this job that she has this with this all black law firm. I just don't like her attitude. Daniel is in the studio playing beats. Oh, with the other guy. He They finally meet. Daniel meets with the guy that he's going to play the beats for. And Daniel plays the beat that he originally liked. And you can see the guy's face is just like really annoyed by it. And he's like, well, play the other beat. So dude plays the other beat. And dude likes both beats. And um, hopefully he picks Daniel's original beat because 
you know, that's his artwork. And I can, I totally understand where he's coming from. So Issa and Daniel, um, I don't know what, what are they doing? It says something out. My music might be Issa saying, oh, he's Issa. He, Daniel is telling Issa about what happened with the guy with the, with the beats. And Issa was like, maybe Issa took old dude's side, which I was like, I thought it was weird because you, I mean, you could tell, like I'm saying, I'm, I understand where he's coming from, but maybe the way that she, she said it, like, maybe you should apologize. As soon as she said that, Daniel got real petty. Like, how are you going to give me advice about what I'm doing? I don't like the way he got real petty with her. Like he got an attitude and he just got real petty with her and said some real smart shit to her. And I was just like, that's kind of trash. And I, and at that point I was like, I don't like the way Daniel fights. He gets he gets real petty real quick and that's not if you're trying to this is who you say you want to build a relationship with and he's and he fights he doesn't fight right i don't like the way he fights i don't like the way daniel fights he gets real petty and starts you know trying to hurt isa and saying hurtful things to her you know instead of being like no i don't want to apologize to do this is my crap you will now say something real hurtful to her i don't i didn't like that i didn't like the way that so they end up, I don't know, they show them in the bed, um, laying down in the bed, and he, you know, starts, they start talking about what they have to do, um, you know, like, I don't know why they're in the bed together, stupid. He turns around and starts cuddling up to her, and I don't know, are you apologizing with your penis? Like, instead of saying, instead of using your words, Daniel... Instead of saying, I'm sorry for what I said to you and how I spoke to you, Issa, you figure you're going to say sorry with your dick? No, you need to learn how to use your words. We're, we're not doing that anymore. Nobody's doing that. So, Daniel, instead of you trying to snuggle up to Issa, and he start, they started making out, and they started getting busy, and then Issa was just like, no, that's not, whatever. And that, to me, I'm saying that's showing growth for Issa, like you need to apologize we're not about to do this again with this nigga i didn't i didn't uh -uh. no we're not about to do this so she needs to i think she i don't know what's gonna happen next week i just get to see the stream didn't show me what's gonna happen next week but we'll see i don't know it overall was a pretty good episode we're gonna see what's gonna go on with Issa and her um we got y'all and her job and 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 if she's gonna take this apartment um complex kelly i'm not kelly tiffany finds out she's not in group chat it's a lot of things that you know we could laugh about and little the little quirky comedic moments but overall what did you guys think of the episode do you think am i am like what is this with molly and what she's saying at her job the little things that she's saying at this company am i you uh, do y'all understand what i'm talking about like in terms of like it's not really microaggressions but she's like too familiar in spaces i don't know if i'm if i'm not explaining myself right but what do you think about that that do you think about what do you think about daniel and Issa? do you think she needs to move out and take the property manager job or still stay there and figure it out what do you, i think she needs to move out and figure it out in separate spaces um what do y'all think leave it in the comments and we'll chat later take care of yourself